Courtesy, professionalism, and respect. That's me. I look through the lens. I turn back to Houston and I say, yeah, you mean that line that shows the cameraman with the audience seat? He says, those are the frame lines. Now ask yourself this. What needs to be there? This is called interacting, and uh, basically, as I say, it's, uh, it's the lessons of my life. What you've got in front of you is the menu. Each one of those items is short, three, four, five minutes long. On the upper left-hand side of the page is the A-list. Three steps. Step one, accept all things. Joe Tata, an actor. Things were going good, and then, you know, as happens in this business, suddenly you can't get work. But you know, you'd run into Joe and you say, hey Joe, how you doing? And Joe would always put the best face he could on it. And here's Joe sitting there waiting for his turn and nobody called his name and he was waiting and finally somebody called his name. He said there were lights in his eyes. He said he couldn't see them. He said the, the secretary left him right in the middle of the room. Uh, nobody introduced him. He stood there for a while. Finally, Joe, after a few seconds of uh, this, he said, ho, hey, and he started doing little soft shoe. I don't do it, he did. Boom, bang, bang, and now they're all looking at him. Now they're smiling. They start to clap. He gets the job. 90210 is the name of the show. He's the guy that ran the Peach Pit in. Step two, deliver excellence right now. Now look, diapering a baby is not something you do as fast as you possibly can. You take your time. This is a bonding moment. You know how you start that. You get the water the right temperature. You know what happens if it's too hot or it's too cold. And then you wash that little bottom and you get it all nice and clean. And then you dry it off and then you put a little lotion and then you put a little powder and then you put the new diaper on. And if we have an accident somewhere in the middle, we start at the uh, getting the water the right temperature again. You know, you take your time. If you find the right thing to apply to any job of any kind, you can raise it to the level of an art form. Step three is never quit. You can win it in the late innings. I saw old Joe Stein, 80 years old. He was waiting for me. He could hit that ball anywhere on the court he wanted to. He couldn't move very well because he was 80 and all that. All I had to do was get the ball back to him and he would slam it wherever he wanted and I'd chase it. And as I was walking toward him, I stopped in my tracks asking myself, how am I going to survive? And I saw Joe and I said, geez, that's the answer. Don't quit, Bob. Once you quit, you've got to get good at something else. But you can win it in the late innings if you don't quit. Marlon looks at him for a few seconds, then he turns to me and he says this. So you see, if you don't scare them, they will never respect you. Respect has polar opposite meanings. At the one end of the word respect is the, things, is the thing that people give you if you've got a hammer over their head. They call that respect. And at the exact opposite end of the meaning of the same word is the thing that people give you when they love you, when they're not afraid of you, when they give you a little space to operate and hope that you succeed. That's the direction where all the good stuff is. It's all in the same direction, truth, beauty, love. I remind myself and my children and others as well that life is short, 50, 75 seasons, 100 maybe. Life is an arc. First you're born and you can't take care of yourself and then you can take care of yourself and then for most of your life you're duty bound to take care of others until the end when you can't take care of yourself anymore and you have to rely on the ones you've parented. You better do a good job, Bob. I realize that this arc is filled with now moments, a lot of now moments, almost an infinite number of now moments in a lifetime, almost that many in a day, moments to which we can deliver our best or less if we choose. But when we do deliver our best, we point ourselves exactly in the direction of where all the good stuff is. You're using your life and your life's experiences to understand with, and with every action you create, you're delivering that understanding to others. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings and lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, will be a man.